Anything that creates inflammation in the nervous system is going to create, potentially create ticks, depending on who you are. Dysbiosis is a potential cause, gut dysbiosis or dysbiosis throughout the different microbiomes of the body through the complicated interplay between microbiota and gases, inflammatory gases in the nervous system. That can cause ticks. The role that emotional trauma or generational trauma has to play on the way that inflammation is carried through the nervous system can also cause ticks. So while it's more complex than just A causes B, usually you have A, B, and C causing D in different ways. So the best approach for treatment is going to be food, lifestyle, meditative practices that you're using to reduce and regulate these inflammatory gases to the nervous system. It's going to be trauma therapy or something called EMDR therapy. This is why I work with people because I teach them some of those meditative skills that have helped me and others on their journey through Tourette's and regulating their tics and their symptoms. I'm going to work with the parents who are usually uh, feeding their children, cooking for their children on the uh, concepts that they, that they can use when they're choosing what to cook. It's a team effort and we're trying to approach from multiple angles to tend to this multifaceted neurological disorder. There is more to it, especially when you're taking into consideration the use of pharmaceutical medications and other herb supplementation, whatever. There's more there, but that's a general rundown.